Okay, let's get down through the store. Now I gotta find some guns. Okay, there we are. Smash that. Smash that. I'll drift. And stop what you're doing and come inside and eat your food. Oh no, I'm playing Fortnite. I'm not ready to stop yet. I know, I'll just build myself a place to hide. I made you some chicken soup. Woohoo, I did it. The coast is clear. Hello and welcome to Oz Story Reviews. Now it's your pal Oz here today. <laughs> I said that a little bit differently, but it's your pal Oz here today, and we're reviewing Fortnite toys today. So we got a uh, loot llama, we got Amiga, we got Drift, and we got a uh, Fortnite loot chest. And I've been playing way too much Fortnite lately. I'm li you, you could say I'm a little bit addicted, but <laughs> it's good in my case because I can put that knowledge to some use when it comes to reviewing these toys. So, uh, what I, I can see we're, we're kind of reviewing quite a few toys and I don't like to have overly long videos so forgive me if I speak a little bit quickly or we kind of like rush through them but I'll try to go slow where it's important. So, uh, first up, what we'll do, we'll, we'll look at the Loot Llama before we open up any toys. So, what's that on the side there? Picture of a chest there. It's got some nice little frills. Kind of soft, it kind of feels like flannel. Oh, there you go, if you look on the underside, you might recognize that kind of fabric there. It's pretty common. The tail is pretty nice and fluffy. Got a little hoop there so you can hang it on stuff. Hoop or loop, what would you call that? I'd say a loop probably. Uh, his legs are a little bit strong so he can stand like that. Um, we could cut off the tag but who cares. And then, there we go. So it's from Banter Toys, like I said earlier. Russ, nope, nope, that, Russ, his name isn't Russ, he's just a loot llama. His eyes are slightly shiny, which is cool. Okay, but anyway, that's, that's all we can see from the loot llama. He doesn't make sounds, there's no, uh, <laughs> no moving joints to check out. Now, uh, next up, loot chest. Quick check, camera change, and here we are. Now we can see everything a little bit more clearly. Uh, so I'll get my trusty knife. Did I tell you that I lost my pink knife? I had an awesome pink knife like this and it lasted me so many years. Like, I don't know, maybe a year? <laughs> Not so many years, maybe a year, maybe a year and a half. But for every video I had that same pink knife and it somehow gotten lost. Now we should check this out first. So what, check this out so it concludes. Rust bucket, drum gun, yeah drum gun, scope assault rifles, thermal scope assault rifle, tactical submachine gun, two building materials which is awesome, and then a collector's guide. Uh, and this one has seven pieces inside. Okay, cool. So, chuck this over there. And now what have we got? So, first up this is the, um, what did they call this? A collector's guide? I always call these checklists, but um, they don't always let you check them, so I've always wondered what to call them. So collector's guide is what we got. Now this is all the different skins, some bandolier, bright bomber, carbide, uh, there's Drift who we're going to review today, Omega we're going to review today. Wouldn't mind seeing Raven, he looks pretty awesome. Um, now all these accessories coming up next, so the gold is legendary, purple epic, blue rare, green uncommon, and then there's common. So as we go through the loot chest, we'll identify them using this. And there's a few more at the beginning there. And then different harvesting tools, which is cool. And then bling bags. More bling bags coming soon. And then a glider. You have a chance of getting one glider. Or maybe just these, this season only has one glider in it. The reason I say that is because that wet paint glider is the one that belongs to Amiga back there. I don't know if you can see my finger. But, uh, so that's probably why it only has one on the whole set there. Now let's go through what we have. So we got two wooden panels. Let's click them together. And a little trick to those is that they come together like from the bottom connecting upwards. So how do I explain that? So see how I'm pushing down into it? So if I was doing it like this way, it would probably snap. But going down that way is perfect. Reason for this, I should probably show you that is that there's little kind of grooves on this side of it. So if you know that little trick, then uh, assembling these are way easier. I kind of learned that the hard way, so we'll put that back there. Let's see what loot we've got. Okay, so first up here, this looks like the 
tech it's a golden one the legendary i'd say sniper rifle hold on let's quickly check the checklist uh, not there here we go i'd say this is the thermal scope assault rifle oh, i was hoping it was a sniper rifle but nope <laughs> thermal scope assault rifle now put that one down next up we got i think this one's on the same page too i'm saying that is maybe just a straight up scope to assault rifle because it's a blue item and kind of seems to fit that model there I should let you check these out before I move on there's a lot of detail to them I really like them check that out I like the kind of shiny paint they use too it's kind of like metallic looking for that one for this one not so shiny where are we shiny but not in that kind of metallic way the blue has um, okay, next up we got a green kind of Tommy gun. Let's have a look. See if I can find this one. Oh, yeah, the drum gun, I'm guessing. Let's see if it looks the same. Yeah, I'd call that a drum gun. There's not many of them, so that must be it there. And we also got a... Oh, I think I saw that one. It's, a, it's annoying how um, the gun's are on two different pages. I'd call this one the tactical submachine gun. Give you a close look. Very focused, there we go. Looking nice, and then finally a bling bag. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this in game. I'd say this is Rust Bucket. Nope, oh, around that way, there we go. No, wait. How's that work? That way, there we go, that way. Let's have a closer look. So there's like some sort of kind of like tag there with a number. It looks like some sort of old-fashioned walkie-talkie. There's some pipe there, a little nozzle there, or valve, I think it's called. Don't know what this is on the top, though. But okay, very cool. So that's all the items we got from the loot chest. So let's check out Omega. Okay, here we go. Now, out the way, Llama, or Loot Llama. Let's check him in out in the box first. So there we go. He's got his uh, umbrella there. He's holding a pickaxe, or what do they call it? They don't just call it a straight up pickaxe, they call it a harvesting tool. Uh, comes with another... I have a feeling that's the same weapon we've already just found. Oh no, it's slightly different. There we go, slightly different, there we go, fuel. And then he's got his bling bag there. And there's a Instagram URL to check out, not a hashtag, not a URL. So <laughs> Instagram hashtag to check out if you're on Instagram. And I'll even post something there myself on my own Instagram. Uh, for Oz Toy Reviews. Now, there is there. So, Amiga, there can only be one. And then it shows you a few of the other guys which are available, like Carbide, Technique, Raptor, Bandolier, and Drift, who we'll review later. And that is all. So, let's open them up. Okay, so here we have. We've got them kind of out of the main part of the box there. And we'll get them out as we go. So, first up here is the main figure. So this guy looks really cool. So he's, I think he's from season five is when he came out. And this is him with all levels of his gear. So even like the little kind of like, I can't remember what tea you get that at, but those kind of little highlights on his chest is one of the very last things. And I got to say, he feels really good. Like really kind of high quality. Like he's got a lot of movable joints, like even his waist um, and his torso, but Still feels quite sturdy, which is awesome. It was unexpected. I kind of thought this range wouldn't be... I don't know. Sometimes when there's merchandise made from games, it's not the highest quality, I've got to say. But this, i got to say, is. So even his ankles can pivot around. They can go up and down and... So what's that? Pivot and swivel. Yeah, there we go. Which is nice. You don't see his swiveling ankles very often. And then the knees are double jointed. There we go, looking cool. So you can get really right up in there with his high, high knee <laughs> kicks. Wah! There we go. <laughs> and uh, his, his torso, as you can see, moves around quite a lot, which is good. His head, nice. And arms and elbows, very cool. So there we go, there's Omega himself. Now, can I, I can't stand him up, but if we use one of these building pieces, we can stand him on it. 
And now there we go, because these guys, because I've got such great movability, it's also easy to kind of put them off their center of balance. Um, all you gotta do is like put an arm out sometimes and they're off balance. But using this, look, you can even go upside down. If you, how cool would that be, hanging them off your roof? Oh, he's gonna, he might be pretty stable. I don't feel he's gonna fall, but that's pretty cool to be able to like put them on the wall or something like that. I've never thought of that. <laughs> it's probably a reason why no one does it. But uh, there we go. So we'll stick him back there. Now let's see what accessories he's got. So his harvesting tool. Focus, where are you? I want that closer. I want to be closer. There we go. So that's awesome. Looks a bit like a gun at the end there, but it's not. Nice. Now we'll put that in his hand. There you go. Easy peasy. That wasn't hard. Now this is his uh, bling bag, they call them. What's that there? It looks like maybe a necklace, maybe just some chains. There's a different kind of like a sleeping bag at the bottom there. Walkie-talkie on the side, now it attaches to his back. Very cool, very easy. Turn around so you can see it, there you go. And now what else we got? We got his uh, weapon. Now I could che quickly check the checklist, see what it is. That's a gold item, I'd call that a legendary assault rifle. Yeah, pretty close, it's gotta be that. And I won't put it in his hands because I want him to hold his uh, parachute thing, his glider. Okay, so here we go. Push that in there. And grip that in that one. Hey, and let me know if you have um, Fortnite, like if you play it, let me know. And if you do play it, let me know who is your favorite uh, skin to use. I keep wanting to say character, but they use skins in this game. So let me know which is your favorite skin to use. Um, and if you've had any kind of weird experiences from it, because there's all these cool stories come from these games, like of just crazy things that happened or ways you've kind of won the, uh, what do you call it, the battle royale mode. Let me know if you've ever won that, because I don't know anyone who has. It's really hard. I'm kind of the type of player who would be like, like any of you would beat me pretty much. <laughs> I would see you, I'd think, oh, okay, I'm gonna use this gun. So I pull out my gun and then I like go, oh, where have you gone? And then I'm dead as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as I see someone, because I'm just a little bit slow, I guess you could say. Just, uh, oh. Just uh, because I have not played in a while, and I don't know, I think too much. I need to just react more. But uh, okay, so there we have, um, I keep forgetting his name, Omega, with all his accessories. His backpack fell off, and his gun, I, he's only got two hands, I'm sorry. But he looks really awesome. Okay, now before I get into it, let's check out Drift in his box. Now it looks like that coat can come off, which I'm looking forward to checking out. So drift in solo mode. Okay, drift, journey into the unknown and find your way to victory, that's cool. Now different characters here, so we've got Bandolier, Technique, Raptor and Carbide, which we just looked at. Oh no, we looked at Omega. And that's all we got on the box, so let's open them up. Now, here we have drift outside of his box. So first up, we'll check out the, uh, <laughs> the wooden panel that comes with them, the building piece. So again, we'll click that into place. Which is cool, and actually we got two before, I oh, know we've already got the two, okay, well we got one from, oh no, I want to keep him standing up. Alright, I was going to try building something, but I still don't have enough yet, but uh, we will need that soon to put drift on standing up, so we'll leave it like that. Now, uh, let's check out what he's got, so, I'm pretty sure his harvesting tool is called, what is it, Rift's Edge, yeah, Rift Edge, not Rift's Edge, Rift Edge, which is nice. Kind of cool golden chain down there. And next up, he doesn't have as many accessories, but his cool coat kind of makes up for it. So his coat is really kind of floppy, floppier than it looked in the picture. So I don't know if me moving it around kind of helps, but uh, gives you an idea of how kind of loose it is. But yeah, it's very movable and you could, you could get it off, but I kind of don't want to because his sleeves are still there. And I might kind of, whoa, what happened there? His hood came off. Okay, does his mask come off? Ah, oh, his mask doesn't come off, but that would have been awesome if it did. Okay, but anyway, so you get the gif that I, or gist, not gif, 
<laughs> that you can pull off his jacket if you want to, but uh, it looks kind of cool on, so I'm going to leave it on there. His, uh, there's the back of his head, which is weird because the character has uh, hair, <laughs> quite a lot of hair, but uh, under his hood, I guess I couldn't have hair, but let's put his hood back on. That's cool, that's cool you can kind of slip it up like that. I wonder if you can put it on different characters. Hold on, let's quickly experiment. <laughs> so there you go, Amiga. Oh, that's cool. It kind of does work. Nice, okay. He dropped his umbrella, but that's cool. So we'll put his hood back on because it does look nice. Okay, and so he's got his big heavy jacket on underneath. He's got his kabuki mask, which sadly doesn't come off. Um, he's got his red jacket under that, cool pants, and then golden shoes. So this is him again at all stages once he's kind of unlocked every kind of uh, accessory he can for this suit. Hey, what's happening with his arms? Oh yeah, no, that's the right way. It's just the sleeves are confusing me. Okay, but yeah, let's check out his movements. So his arms rotate, his wrists rotate as well. They go up and down and rotate as well. Just like Omegas. Uh, he's a little bit kind of thinner and flimsier looking, feeling, but that's mainly because he's got such skinny little wrists here that it kind of feels a bit flimsy compared to Omega, who's kind of thick wristed. Thick wristed, is that a word? <laughs> now, uh, let's check out the rest of him. So his legs, he's got double jointed knees again. Uh, ankles move up and down and rotate, which is nice. He still feels like quite high quality. I know I mentioned that he's got quite flimsy feeling wrists, but uh, it's still really nice quality. Just the way they can pose so well is cool. So yeah, he is awesome. Now where's his, uh, let's get this back. Which way did I tell you to do it? There we go. Now we put him on there. And now there he is. So we can put his uh, pick harvesting tool in his hand. Oh, don't hold it by the chain. His fingers are kind of they they do good at do well at gripping, but they're kind of a little bit like that thumb could break eventually. Like I remember growing up with GI Joes, and their hands were in the same pose, but they were like a hard hard plastic, and even then the thumb snapped off sometimes. So I have a feeling this thumb, which is a bit of a movable bendy plastic might uh yeah yeah it would be plastic um would would snap eventually if you're like taking the weapons in and out of his hands a little bit too roughly it may snap so it's the only kind of downside to this figure i've seen and it's just a type of plastic or, or i don't even i don't even know if calling it plastic is right but uh there's some things because they are kind of a little give it has a little bit of give or movement in it i can feel it very easily could be bent all the way back and snapped which it's not cool, but in some ways it kind of has to be that way to be so poseable and awesome. So, I don't know, just got to be gentle, that's all. Now, there he is. So, we got uh, Drift in his awesome Kabuki mask and his big giant jacket. And then Amiga looking awesome too with all his accessories. He has a lot of accessories. Uh, but there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, leave me a comment letting me know if you enjoyed the video, of course. If you got these characters if you like these characters who you play in the game using the sorry skins not characters uh, if you even play fortnite because it's a bit of an addictive game so i can see why some parents wouldn't let you play i know i'm certainly addicted but until next time guys like the video if you like it subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and have a great week take care of yourself and i'll catch you next time